Kids Life. I am Teacher Truthy, and we also have with us Teacher Nicole. Hi, Teacher Nicole. Hi, Teacher Truthy. Hello, everyone. We are your teachers this morning, and we are so happy to see you all again. Let's now get ready for our Kids Life episode. But before we sit down and use our eyes and our ears to listen to the rest of the episode, let's play a game. The game that we will be playing is called Freeze Dance. I will be playing music, and once you hear the music, start dancing! And then, when the music stops and when I say freeze, you have to stop dancing. You have to freeze! Alright, little ones? Let's get started! Okay, kids, start dancing in 3, 2, 1! You can move your hands. He gives me everything I need and so much more. So I just want to lift my hands. Say that I love him. I just want to lift my heart in trance. Freeze! Did you stop? Good job! Let's keep playing. job! One more time! I like to think about the goodness of the Lord. He gives me everything I need and so much more. So I just want to lift my hands. Say that I love Him. I just want to lift my heart in His Freeze! Good job! We want to be thankful and we want to praise God with our dance and also continue praising Him as we listen to the rest of our Kids Life episode. Thank you for our fun game, Teacher Truthy. And great job, little ones, for following our instructions so well. I think you're ready now for the next part. Let's prepare our hearts and minds through our praise and worship song. Teacher Truthy and I will see you later. Okay kids, in thankful, we bump our hands into the air like this. And then in grateful, we bump our hands into the right and left. And I want to be goes like this. Let's, Let's worship together. I like to think about the goodness of the Lord. He gives me everything I need and so much more So I just want to lift my hands And say that I love Him I just want to lift my heart in praise And I want to be thankful I want to be grateful I want to remember everything That the Lord has done I want to be thankful I want to be grateful To think about the goodness of the Lord He gives me everything I need and so much more So I just want to lift my hands And say that I love Him I just want to lift my heart in praise And I want to be thankful I want to be grateful I want to remember everything that the Lord has done I want to be thankful I want to be grateful I want to be, I want to be, I want to be thankful I want to be grateful I want to be, I want to be grateful 
wonderful job in singing to the Lord today. Now, it's time for us to do our memory verse. We can get our memory verses from where again? That's right! We get our memory verses from the Bible, the Word of God. Do you have a Bible with you too? Good! So let's open our Bibles and read our memory verse. Our memory verse is found in Ephesians chapter 6, verse 10. Be strong in the Lord. Let me say and sign our memory verse. Be strong in the Lord. Ephesians 6, 10. Let's say and sign our memory verse together. Are you ready? Okay, be strong in the Lord. Ephesians 6, 10. One more time. Be strong in the Lord. Ephesians 6, 10. Now it's your turn to say and sign our memory. Be strong. In the Lord, Ephesians chapter 6, verse 10. Be strong in the Lord, Ephesians chapter 6, verse 10. Great job, little ones! Now let's listen to Teacher Truthy as she shares with us how we can be strong in the Lord. Hi kids! It's now time for our Bible lesson. And today, we are going to learn about being strong in the Lord. Are you strong? Can you show me those muscles? Wow! You are strong! Do you know who the strongest in the world is? It's God. God is the strongest in the whole world. And He helps us to be strong. And not just by giving us muscles. He helps us to be strong by helping us be thankful even when life is hard. And that's a different and amazing kind of strength. Let's learn more about this in our Bible lesson for today. Remember in the last episode, Teacher Beth talked about the Apostle Paul, and Paul liked to write letters to encourage the people of God. He wrote his letter to the Thessalonians because they were going through some very difficult troubles. Paul told them something very important. He told them to remember how God saved them, and if God was powerful enough to save them, he was strong enough to help them in their troubles. They can trust God and thank Him for helping them. This is what being strong in the Lord means. And like the Thessalonians, you and I can be strong in the Lord by trusting that He is always with us. Because He loves us, He will always take care of us, even during sad and difficult times. So we can be strong in the Lord by praying to Him every day and by thanking Him for everything that He has done for us. So let's do what our memory verse for today says. Do you remember what Teacher Nicole taught you earlier? Ephesians 6 verse 10. Be strong in the Lord. Let's now pray and ask God to help us to be strong in the Lord. Follow after me. Fold your hands, close your eyes, and bow your heads, and let's pray. These hands are praying, praying, praying. These hands are praying just like this. Dear Jesus, thank you for teaching us that we can be strong in you. 
and thank you for helping us to be strong. Please help us to always be thankful and help us to tell others that they too can be thankful because of all that you have done for us. We love you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for listening, little ones. I hope that you learned a lot from God's Word. Let's now go to Teacher Nicole for our crafts. And see you later! Hi, little ones! At the gym, or sometimes even at home, you can see people using weights to build their muscles. Today, we will be making a paperweight, which will remind us to be strong in the Lord. Now let's get started. To make our paperweight, you will need papers, scissors, tape, crayons, and coloring pens. Fold the paper, trace a circle on one side, while the paper is folded, cut the circle. Write our memory verse on one side of the circles, then decorate both sides. Fold the paper into thick strips. Form a triangle and tape the middle part, then decorate it. Cut the sides of the triangle, then fold and tape it to the circles. And ta da! You now have your own paper weight. Hi, little ones. Were you able to memorize our memory verse for today? Were you also able to make our craft for today? If you said yes to either one of those, we would love to hear from you. You may send us a video of you reciting our memory verse or a picture of you and your craft, and we will feature you in our next Kids Life episode. You may send them at Kids Life at gcf.org.ph Hi again, little ones! Did you enjoy today's episode? That's great! Before we go, let's see if you remember our Bible verse. Our Bible verse is from Ephesians 6, verse 10. Tell me the missing word in our verse. Ephesians 6, verse 10. Ready? Be in the Lord. What do you think the missing word is? You're right! Strong! Can we do the verse again together? Ephesians 6 verse 10 Be strong in the Lord! Good job, little ones! Yes! A big thumbs up to you, little ones! We also hope you had a great time learning about how God makes us strong. He helps us during sad and difficult times. As God's children, let's learn to be strong in Him. Thank you for that reminder, Teacher Nicole. And little ones, we are glad that you are here with us today. And we hope to see you again next Saturday for our Kids Life episode. See you there and goodbye! Goodbye!